to be condemned for the disaster that was a postseason for the Thunder or for the Rockets, Correct. right? Yes. They have been the number one targets of those fandoms in Oklahoma City and Houston. Where were you, James Harden? Where were you, Russell Westbrook? Okay. We can't overcome you and you. So now they have, they're sharing a, a, a blame uh, dynamic that they've both experienced, and they're both at that 30 mark where they're starting to say, wait a second. I don't have anything to show for all my accolades, Oh, right? you, th you think they think that? Yes, I do think they think that. Okay. And it is time for one or the other to sacrifice to try to win something in this league, or they're both going to go down and out as another one of those guys who never won anything. Well, here's my thing. Here's my, my question to you. If they thought like that, why haven't they done this sooner? Why it takes now for you to think about that? Because it started with number two. He, he just wrecked the whole dynamic. Oh. All the dominoes fell from number two. Am I right? Yeah, but okay. He, my, my, what, my, what if he doesn't go after Paul George? We're not having this conversation. No. And so, But my thing is, Skip, is that when you pair these guys together, and I give you, yeah, they led the league in assists, but they need the ball to do that. The question is, okay, who's taking the last shot? These guys don't okay. think like that. Even though they struggled in the playoffs, each guy says, you know what? I can be the one to get us out right. of this. All right. <sighs> I have respect for Mike D'Antoni in only one area, one area only, and that is offensive. I'm going to go so far as to genius. Okay. I think he has genius he about does. him. And I, I don't think his players listen to him like when we see those, those sideline huddles, you know, right. on tape. It's, it's like all this play, they're looking up in the stands and they're looking at their shoes and they're, they're just tuning them out. We got to get a stop here, guys. We got to get a stop. You know, like it's just, it's just gibberish coming mm -hmm. out of his mouth. Okay. But I do believe they listen to him in practice and in meetings because he has a track record mm -hmm. in this league, starting with Steve Nash in Phoenix, and you can just go right Spot down the line. All, all the, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So they know, he knows how to get them the sugar. You know, like th this is, he, he, they know he can figure out how to put all of them in the best positions. Right. Now they've been challenged, just as James and Chris Paul were challenged to try to figure this out. But I think James looked a little mentally weary to me at the end of the year because as much as he loves to, to dribble, 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 shoot, after a while, it wears you out mentally. I couldn't tell. Okay. Well, Because he was still dribble, 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 shooting. Yeah. Uh, well, could you tell in the fourth quarters of those games against Golden State? Because he was horrible yeah. as usual. No, but that's my point. Okay. I couldn't tell he felt he, he, he was still doing the exact same thing. And guess what? Mike D'Antoni, thanks to uh, uh, Daryl Morey, just added another guy that's not going to let. Skip, can you imagine Russell Westbrook spotting up in the corner, jacking up 10 threes a game okay. and I, shooting 29%? Okay. It's time to change your approach. Right. You, just watch. Just watch. There is desperation in Houston on the part of the GM who has looked like a fool with all of his analytic yes. MIT conference. Right. You know, he, he just throws it all against the wall. He throws a bunch of numbers against the wall and hope they stick because he just tried yet another superstar. But and guess what? What would the analytics say? Adding two, ball, two guys that are ball dominant, high in usage rate. What would the analytics say about I putting those two guys together? I think he threw that out. Oh, so window. now he don't want analytics okay. anymore. Now I think he's saying, I got two superstars who are offensive dynamos. Yeah. Defensive and they are very close friends. So maybe they can figure it out with Dan Tony tweaking it on the fly. And if they do, come April, you are going to have some trouble because this is going to be a force. I have, this team is better than it was last year. I have them, you know, I, I, the Clippers are better. The Lakers are better. You love Utah. You love Denver. Uh, you, you think Portland is going to be right back up in the mix. I just I, I just don't see it. So what is Eric Gordon going to do? You left out Golden State. Golden State, okay. That was a big mistake on your part because they are listening right now. I, I just want to know, just ask me one thing. When does Eric Gordon get to shoot the ball? Uh, maybe more than you think. How? Yeah. Maybe they say, this time we got to prove to everybody we can actually win in the postseason. Maybe by April they have figured out a new flow oh, really? where they're load managing mentally as well as physically, where the pressure is off these two. I just like the shot. And you listen, you make, those are all good points. And I was the first to think, boy, high usage rate. Yes. But now they have both been challenged. 
as high IQ players, especially James, I think he has high basketball IQ, to figure out how to re-ingratiate Russ into the flow. Because if you utilize their gifts, they are extraordinary gifts on both parts. Mm -hmm. Both. They, they can do things nobody else can do. Yeah. In fact, they're doing things, one and the other, in ways nobody's ever done it in the history of basketball. Mm -hmm. Am I right about yeah. that? So if you take Russ's energy and you just take, it's contagious energy. He does, again, he plays for himself. He mm -hmm. plays for his stats, but at least. But now he's going to change that. Okay. No, he's bringing an edge to this team that it didn't have. He brings an RPM every night. He plays his tail off. Yeah. As you know, again, he's playing for his own stats. Right. But maybe now How does that these two rock? reunite and say, you know, now we got to really sacrifice and really? sort of reroute all of our energies into well, winning. Why, would, why wouldn't James Harden do that with Chris Paul? He was, well, had, I think they never liked each other. To tell you well, the then truth. why the hell are you? Why did James Harden? James Harden had to sign off on this, Skip. On which? Chris Paul. Chris Paul. I, I guess so. I don't know. It, it never seemed like they really clicked. Uh, you know, in friends' ways. Well, you I mean, know, they they never loved playing with each other. Well, I, I just think the thing, their style, what they need the ball. Chris Paul needed the ball to be successful. Were to James and Chris friends before Chris? No. Was forced on him. No. And he came over from the Clippers. No. Nope. I, look. I got a bunch of friends. I ain't trying to live with them every day. Okay. I ain't trying to play with them every day. Okay, but he has lived with this friend before. Yeah. I'm just saying that gives you a chance that you wouldn't have with somebody coming out of the blue. It's hard, Skip, when the lives have changed. Uh, Chris Paul, I mean Chris Paul. James Harden is not the sixth man anymore. Russell Westbrook is not the guy. Yeah, I got anymore. it. But remember, they're now decorated. They yes! did all their individual yes! stuff. Yes, yes, So now it's time. I'm challenging them here right, right yeah. here right now that you have to say, time out. Who am I? What am I? What is my legacy going to be? Yeah. Solo act? Nope. Am I going to be a solo act or am I going to be a champion? How many times have we heard people say, all I care about is winning, but what they really mean, I want to win, but I want to win my way. I need 10 for a buck 50 and two touchdowns. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want to win because, you know, I've had all these in individual accolades. So instead of averaging 30, 10, and 7, if I could average 28, 8, and 6, that would be okay. Nothing really changed. Skip, these guys want to be the guy. Russell has been the guy since KD left. Well, he thought he was the guy when KD was there. Mm. James Harden has been the guy since he arrived in Houston. Mm. He's been the guy. So now you're going to put these two guys together, and one guy say, you know what? I thought you said that's not how Russell is wired. I thought you said he don't back down from anybody. So now all of a sudden you say, you know what, James? You right. You right. You the big dog now. You the big chief. I'm going to take a back seat. Mm. You think that's how Russ thinks? We'll see. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, we'll see. But I, I think it's got a chance. All I know for sure is they are much better than they were a day ago, the Houston Rockets. Okay, so what? So instead Much of, better. Instead of the fifth seed, they'll be the fourth seed. Okay. All right. Well, so there's some better in your eyes. <laughs> you, you're admitting that they're better, They were right? the fourth seed last year. Okay. I had them fifth. So what? They, they're fourth? Skip, you keep saying Chris Paul had a bad contract, Albatross of a contract, and he did. But all they did was pick up a guy that had a worse contract because he has an extra year for $47 million. Okay. You make it seem like Russ' contract is like, oh, man, this I would love to have hey, that. I'm going to ask you again. Yeah. Better player right here, right now, Russell or CP3? Russ is a better player. Mm -hmm. But I believe Chris Paul worked better with James Harden than what Russ will. Mm. Chris Paul. I didn't is, see that. Let me ask you a question. Who's a better shooter? And in this offense, what do you need? Shooters. So who's a better shooter, Chris Paul or, or, or Russ? Okay, I'll give you that. Okay. But who's the better player? Who's the better scorer? Don't you got enough Who's score? the better passer right now? Don't you got Russ enough? is better than... Listen, Chris Paul is, is just... It's hard to watch him anymore. He's <laughs> lost his quickness. He's lost any lift that he ever had. He has to... When he tries to shoot his jumper, he has to, like, muscle it up to get up to the apogee to, to release it. Like, ugh! Chris Paul I, it, 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 it hurts to watch him. No, it don't. Yeah, it does. No, it does not. Well, do you, what's going to happen if he goes to Miami? Does that make them the favorite well, in the well, East? I, well, Skip, I've always felt, I, I, even though this trade didn't materialize, I feel Chris Paul would be a better fit with Jimmy Butler than Russ. Would you disagree? Listen, I would disagree because See, Russ is just better. So you, you just, listen. Skip, just The because, NBA is a stars game. Yes. This guy has star power. Yes. I, I, I always tell you, I don't love watching him. I mean, I'm sorry, I love watching him, but I wouldn't love playing with him. Right. But if you get somebody he really respects, 
because it's it's only been him and Durant where he really respected it somebody. It is a star league, mm -hmm. but championships are won with pieces that fit. Mm -hmm. And when you don't have pieces that fit, you just, because remember, Skip, for the longest time, that's what we was doing in the Olympics. We just get the best have nothing fit. Oh, we just got this guy, this guy, this guy. And everybody, and like, all of a sudden, Argentina got the gold medal. 